<laughs> you would think that a professional boxing promoter would be showing a lot more class than this. This was Oscar De La Hoya and Bernard Hopkins laughing at Rolly Romero getting knocked out last night by Isak Pitbull Cruz. Isak Pitbull Cruz is now a champion at 140 pounds. Happy Easter, buddy, you guys. The kids who's re re resurrected, I'll be back. Made with the promotion CEO, Leonard Ellaby tweeted out, Wow, Rolly's okay, but what if he wasn't? And something tragic happened. Classless behavior from two Hall of Fame fighters and promoters, especially immediately after a fight. Props again to Esau Pitbull Cruz and his team on a terrific performance. Happy Easter, everybody, you guys. Jesus, the kids who's re re resurrected, I'll be back. Y'all thought I was crazy when I predicted Pitbull Cruz to knock Rolly out, right? Y'all was roasting me in my comment section talking about you don't know what you talking about. Esau Pitbull Cruz put the beats by Dre on Rolly Romero. Esau Pitbull Cruz got a dog in his heart. Rolly ain't got no damn dog. And I think that Javante Davis changed this man. Everybody take a look at Pitbull Cruz whooping Rolly all over the damn ring. I low-key felt bad for Rolly, but then again, I didn't. It was good to see a clown like Rolly get his ass whooped after robbing Ismael Barroso for that title. That's right. Rolly never deserved to be a champion. As y'all can see, the man was getting his ass whooped, and the referee ended up stopping the fight. Aesop Pitbull Cruz is a champ. Fuck little Nas A. I'm telling y'all, I could watch this fight once a day, every day for the rest of my life. Rolly was never a champion. But since he was a champion, how many title defenses did Rolly Romero have? If you guessing zero, you are absolutely right. Rolly never really won the belt, but since he won it, he got zero title defenses. South Paul is a piece of shit person. Ryan Garcia tweeted out, Remember when Rolly thought he pulled a fast one by choosing to fight Pitbull instead of me? Then he ended up getting knocked out by a 125 pounder? From the main event to the cold to the KO, in all seriousness, Rolly needs to do influencer boxing. I'm not kidding. I think Dean the Great Beast is made. Happy Easter, buddy, you guys. Then Mr. Henderson, Nevada. Mr. Pillow Fist. Mr. 30,000 pay-per-view buys. Devin Haney tweeted out. You next. Of course, Devin Haney's gonna try to get some type of attention off of Rolly Romero. Ayo, hey, Devin, wasn't nobody talking to you, bro? And what the hell do you mean you next? Devin Haney must be thinking that he gonna knock out Ryan Garcia. Mark my words, this fight is in three weeks and Devin will not get the stoppage. If Devin Haney beats Ryan, it will be by unanimous decision. That is it, that is all. If a knockout happens, it'll be Ryan knocking out Devin. Mark my words. <laughs> These are the champions in the 140 pound division. Subria Matias, Teofimo Lopez, Devin Haney, and Pitbull Cruz. Out of all four of these fighters, who got the least punching power? If you guess Devin Haney, you are absolutely right. Out of all four of these guys, Devin Haney can't punch. Stop talking about that. Shut the fuck up! Horrible fighter. In my personal opinion, out of all of these champions, I think Subria Matias beats everybody. Teofimo Lopez second, Pitbull Cruz third, and Devin Haney is the weakest champion ever. <laughs> <laughs> One last thing on Rolly Romero. Errol Spence reposted this on Twitter. It's when Rolly Romero said that Errol Spence ain't got no defense. Errol Spence responded back with, that's cool. 40k you lose on March 30th. And hey, yo, Errol Spence is looking like a whole sidekick right now because Rolly got his ass stopped. Happy Easter, buddy, you guys. Speaking of Errol Spence, the man stepped into the ring last night after Sebastian Fandora got the decision. Errol Spence got no shame. The man ain't got no class. How dare this man step into the ring acting like he deserves a title shot at 154. Hey, yo, Errol Spence. You must have forgot that you just got your ass whooped by Bud Crawford in the fight that y'all both had a rematch clause in. Hey, yo, Spence, go try to get your get back from Bud. Happy Easter, buddy, you guys. Bud Crawford tweeted out, You lost, sir. You got to work your way back up. Errol Spence responded back with, I don't do lines. I love Jesus. 
Errol Spence must feel like he's some type of entitled to a title shot at 154 just because he got his ass whooped at 147. He blaming the weight class. Paco Vacarcel, the president of the WBO, tweeted out. Great fight in Vegas. Tim Zhu showed again why he's one of the best 154 pounders. Congratulations, Tim Zhu and Sebastian Fondora. Tremendous WBO title belt in which Fondora received the judge's decision. Next week, the WBO will order negotiations for Sebastian Fondora vs. Terrence Bud Crawford. Fuck Canelo. Respect to Mr. Paco Vacarcel. Because he's doing the right thing. If anybody deserves a title shot at 154, it is Terrence Crawford, not Errol Spence. The winner of that undisputed fight deserves a title shot at 154, not the loser who got his ass dropped and stopped. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm steady trying to tell y'all, I don't know who Errol Spence thinks he is, but the man does not deserve a title shot. If anything, we should be seeing Errol Spence fight somebody like Jerome Boots and it's maybe Keith Thurman, somebody where he gotta work his way back up to a damn title shot. Errol Spence is officially lost all respect on Southpaw TV. I know Southpaw TV. And one last thing on the whole Roly Romero situation. Hey yo, Roly, I know you watching or somebody in your team is watching. When you go on Instagram Live, and start spreading lies about certain YouTube channels, karma will get you, bro. Karma is a real thing. It's only so much you could lie on IG Live about and not think it's not gonna come back to you, bro. It's only so much bogus activities you could do in the sport of boxing. Like robbing the 100 year old man Barroso, acting like you was really a champion. Acting like you some type of funny. Roly is not funny at all whatsoever. I hear everybody talking about, yo, Roly's funny. Ain't shit funny about Roly. There's a big difference between being funny and being nothing but a goofy. Roly is a straight goofy. Ain't shit funny about this man. And I'm glad Pitbull Cruz beat Roly's ass last night. That's all I gotta say. Roly Romero was officially the worst champion in the history of the sport of boxing. Happy Easter, buddy, you guys. Like Jesus re re resurrected, I'll be back. I want to tell everybody happy Easter and thank you for supporting me and following me. Thank you. Happy Easter, everybody, you guys. Jesus.